Okay, let's look now and see what it takes to assign uh, some voice tracks to various functions. Now the key thing to remember is you're not actually assigning a voice track to a function. You've got you know, some function you know, assigned to a switch and you're going to assign a voice track you know, to that same switch. For example, if we pull up the menu here, we can see we've got channel 5 mapped to something. Say for example, like gear up or gear down. That if we push switch C, you know, that'll be gear down. And if we pull it to the middle or bottom positions, that'll be gear up. So let's, uh, let's add some sounds onto that. Let's page over to the custom, I mean, to the custom functions. And we're going to assign two custom functions. First, custom function number one, we're going to say when SC is in the up position, we're going to pick play track. And the track we're going to play is going to be gear down. So now we push it to the up position we get gear down. Likewise, we're going to come down, make a custom function too, and what we're going to pick is the not SC. The exclamation SC up, that means not SC up. So if the position is in the middle or the bottom switch, we're going to play track, and of course that is going to be gear up. So we've got a switch SC and a not switch SC playing gear up, gear up gear down. and gear down. And that is mapped, of course, to the servo, which we, you know, we've fixed in the mix to actually do those functions. Gear but uh, keep that gear in mind down. that you have to uh, map the function, you know, with whatever, with whatever your mix is, and then separately map the control switch to that uh, soundtrack, and that will cover most of what you need to do.